Annie Charles, occupational therapist with CADA, Harita, speech language pathologist at CADA, and Neeti, psychologist at CADA, will now speak about the interdisciplinary intervention for autism at CADA. We are going to talk on the topic uh, interdisciplinary intervention for autism, the CADA model. So, according to Canadian Institute of Health Research in 2005, interdisciplinary team analyzes, synthesizes, and harmonizes link between disciplines into a coherent and a coordinated manner. So, interdisciplinary team uh, provides uh, or they work towards a common goal and bring solution to a problem. So, review of literature, when you see, uh, it shows that interdisciplinary team has the ability to work in an integrated and effective unit. Also, families feel that it is more powerful and less intrusive. When you uh, look at a specific area like feeding, with the combined input from different disciplines, a child learned to model appropriate mealtime behavior. So in short, interdisciplinary team uh, receives or the providers give a well-rounded service that best meet the individual need. Hence, Cater interdisciplinary team has occupational therapist, speech-language pathologist, music teacher, yoga instructor, Ayurveda doctor, art teacher, special educator, and psychologist. Initially, when a child comes to CADA, the uh, mostly referred by a medical practitioner or through self-referral, the interdisciplinary team uh, gathers the uh, detailed case history. The interdisciplinary team includes speech-language pathologist, occupational therapist, and psychologist uh, who does um, various standardized and non-standardized assessment tools to diagnose and assess the strength and areas of concerns of the child. We use cards for diagnosing ASD, speech-language pathologists use ALD and COMDIL checklist to understand the child's receptive and expressive language age and we use SRS to assess or understand the child's social and communication uh, impairment severity. Occupational therapists use sensory profile and clinical observation to uh, assess the child's sensory processing difficulties and they use uh, FIM to assess the child's functional skills that are related to their daily activities. Psychologists use WISC and WIAT to know more about the child's cognitive abilities and their learning profile. We use WAPS to understand the child's adaptive behavior and FQOL to uh, measure the family's perceived satisfaction with quality of life. After this detailed uh, assessment, the interdisciplinary team discusses the case and if the child falls on the spectrum, he or she will be admitted to CADA. And this is a sample schedule that we follow at CADA. The day begins with health checkup, assembly and yoga, then followed by a sensory circuit where the child will be encouraged to do uh, alerting activities, followed by planning and organizing activities, and finally a wind down session with uh, calming activities. In between there will be academic sessions of 30 minutes duration, uh, where then it will be followed by sensory breaks and brain gym exercises. Then uh, push-in and pull-out sessions will be mediated by the interdisciplinary team uh, according uh, to the needs of the child. Finally, uh, feeding sessions will be mediated by the interdisciplinary team and finally the day ends with wind-down sessions where the special educators and teachers summarizes the day's activity with the child. Every child at CADA has an individualized education program plan which includes literacy, numeracy, science, ICT, communication, life skills, and social skills. Literacy, numeracy, science, ICT are delivered by the special educators and uh, teachers uh, on a monthly theme basis. For instance, if a month's theme is animals, then the lesson plans are made, on, made based on that theme. 
The speech language pathologist focuses on language and communication and if the child is non-verbal then picture exchange communication systems, Meccaton sign language or speech generating devices are adopted. Occupational therapist mainly focuses on life skills, uh, gross motor activities, ADL activities, fine motor, cognitive perceptual, visual motor activities are facilitated and for older children, uh, instrumental ADL activities like my managing finances, shopping, home maintenance, etc. are facilitated. We give a lot of importance to sensory integrative activities as well as work-related activities. The psychologist mainly focuses on classroom participation, social skills, emotional regulation and uh, positive behavioral support. So this case study that we would like to present before you is that of a three and a half year old boy who was brought to cater by his mother. The major concerns that the mother had were related to feeding. Even though the child was three and a half years of age, the child was still on thick liquids and the child refused to drink water. The mother used to feed the child in a semi-reclined position on her lap using a spoon. So the interdisciplinary team, uh, the occupational therapist, the speech-language pathologist and the psychologist did an assessment which consisted of these following tools. We used the VAPS, the Comdeal Oromotor Checklist, we used the sensory profile and the FIM measure to assess the oromotor function. The problems that were identified in the assessment were oral sensitivity, hyper, tactile hypersensitivity, the child had hypersensitive uh, gag reflex, the child had still poor vegetative skills, there was still persistence of munching and uh, biting was absent, and the mother had poor acceptance of the diagnosis and the social support for the mother at home was very poor. So the interdisciplinary team, uh, we prepared an individualized intervention plan for the child which consisted of oral desensitization, progressive grading of food textures, the positive reinforcement and sensory integrative therapy mainly focusing on tactile activities, oromotor activities, proprioceptive activities and vestibular activities. Wilberger protocol for brushing was followed, self-feeding skills were facilitated and music and yoga was incorporated. Parental counseling and support was very important in this case because compliance to therapy was very poor. The mother uh, was given a structure routine to follow at home as well as the child had a structured routine at Kader. The child was also given a sensory diet based on the sensory needs of the child. So what is a sensory diet? A sensory diet is an individualized plan that is given to the child based on the sensory needs. This helps the child to be calm and regulated throughout the day. So this is a sample of uh, the structured routine that was followed at school and at home. And uh, the, at home, the mother had to do the morning protocol like Wilberger pro protocol of brushing and proprioceptive activities like sucking from a straw and other proprioceptive activities like joint compression was encouraged. After school, the child was encouraged to do tactile activities like gardening, messy play, foam play, and other therapy putty activities. Proprioceptive activities like climbing, pushing, pulling, and other activities were encouraged. The mother was also encouraged the child to encourage to take the child out to the park or to the beach to facilitate these activities and also for social interaction. So the bedtime routine considered of again proprioceptive activities like uh, rolling the child in a blanket, massage, joint compression, and the child had sleeping issues, so we, ha we gave a sleep routine like giving a warm bath to the child before bedtime, giving a warm glass of milk, using essential uh, oils for relaxation. So, the graph shows the pre-post results of six months of intervention of the child. As you can clearly see, uh, we have taken few domains from standardized tools to show the progress of the child. So you can see that oromotor movements have improved, uh, communication and socialization has also improved, self-feeding skills measured by FIM has improved, hypersensitivity towards touch processing and oral sensory processing has reduced. So the overall outcome of the feeding intervention was he can now bite, chew and eat various uh, solid and various textured foods. Self-feeding skills has improved as in he can take the food to mouth, reduce hypersensitivity to, to the uh, sensory inputs and uh, other outcomes of the intervention are he can understand simple instruction 
and uh, imitate motor movements. Uh, vocal he started vocalizing, which later led to true uh, words, and improved sitting tolerance. Similar results were also found in other, vari other domains like communication, play, his cognitive perceptual skills, and socialization. And these the similar findings were also observed uh, in other children at CADA who followed the interdisciplinary approach. So uh, this also supports the literature that we have reviewed. So an uh, interdisciplinary team, which is powerful, a uh, child-centered and evidence-based, is very essential for the uh, effective intervention in ASD. Thank you.